Good morning, my friends. Welcome. We're so glad to have you here. Yeah, you might want to scoot up because I have a little thing. Have you ever seen like an I Spy book? Not. Oh, okay. So they're super fun. So what do you have to do with an I Spy book? What do you have to do? You have to do what? Yeah, you, so you have to look. You have to seek it out. You have to look. So let's see. There are two pennies, two cacti. That means two cactuses, but you say cacti. Four arrows, a stork, six dominoes, five flags, and a fork. What do you see in there? Can you, let's see. Can you find the fork? Is there a fork in there? Maybe. <gasps> you did. You went looking. You went looking and you found it. You were seeking it out. Right? You were seeking it out. Well, that's a lot like our story today from the gospel. So Jesus was with his friends, and they went to Simon Peter's house. And Simon Peter's mother-in-law was very ill. She was very, very sick. Have you had a fever before? Been real sick? Okay, so Jesus healed her. Made her feel better. She was laying on. She just was not feeling good. Took her by the hand healed her, and she got up, and you know what she started to do? She started to make dinner. I know. That's how awesome she was healed. That's how well she was healed. She got up, started making dinner for everyone, and the people heard about this. Word got out that Jesus could heal people. And so in our gospel story, it says he was healing people, he was casting out demons, and more and more people were coming around because they, too, wanted to be healed. And they wanted to hear the good news about Jesus. Now, Jesus needed a little time to himself the next morning. And he went and prayed to God, his Father. He was seeking out God, seeking him out, praying to him. And the disciples were looking for Jesus. They went seeking him out. They were looking for him. And they're like, where have you been? There's people looking for you. You know what Jesus said? He said, we need to go to some other towns. We need to go to some other cities, some other places, and we need to tell them about God's love. And we need to spread the good news. Because you said, I didn't come just for this town right here. I came to spread God's love and his forgiveness so that people could seek him out. They could seek out God's love and God's forgiveness. And God did that through his son. Through his son, Jesus. And Jesus knew that. He said, this is why I've come. He knew that he was going to be, or that he is, the son of God. And he knew that he was going to be crucified on that cross. And he knew that it was his position, his job. He was sent by God to die on that cross for us so that people who are seeking God's love, seeking God's forgiveness, looking for it, can have that. And when people go to Jesus and ask him for forgiveness and learn about his love, we have life in heaven, eternal life. And he did that for each one of you. And as you learn about that from Jesus, now you can go out and share that message because there's going to be friends and family in other towns and cities that we visit and travel to that are going to be seeking Jesus. And you never know who might be looking for Jesus. He's for everyone. And by your actions and your kind words, sometimes just a simple smile to someone can let them know that they are loved and that they've got forgiveness in Christ. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Thank you for coming to us. Many people are looking for you. Help us to show you to them. Thank you for your love and your forgiveness. Amen.